back to my channel. Today I have filmed a glitter cut crease. It's pretty dramatic, it's pretty fierce. So I'm not going to babble on for too long. I just want to get right into the tutorial and just to say that I'm filming today and tomorrow and tomorrow I'm going to be filming the requested look that I was wearing in the Moonchild swatch video and in my products that aren't worth the hype video. So I will go on that because that was actually one of the most highly requested looks I think I've ever done. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. If you're new here, give me a little subscribe. My name is Danielle. I make videos every single week and please give this video a little thumbs up if oh, you've already been. The first shadow I'm taking is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills self made palette and I'm taking the shadow treasure to highlight the brow bone and the brush that I'm using to apply it is the Morphe M4 I don't know what it is it's rubbed off but it's a Morphe one now we've got the brow bone highlighted, I'm going to take the matte shade Buttery from the Self Made palette. Now as my transition colour, I'm going to use Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. And I'm applying this with the Morphe B25. I'm then going to apply Chickadee by Makeup Geek. This is just the same Morphe brush I'm using to do that and again kicking it out. Now to really deepen up the crease, this is Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. This is one of my favourite Makeup Geek shadows. I'm just going to apply that with the little double-ended brush that comes with my Alice in Wonderland palette by Urban Decay. Because I'm just going to kind of sculpt out the crease rather than blend it in first. Just so I can get a real defined line and I don't want anything too blown out. I still want quite a structured um, gradient effect here. I'm just using that brush and this is where we really start to work it out the way for the cut crease. I'm just going to go over it with the B25, MB25, yeah MB25 by Morphe just to get it really fluffy and gradient. Now I'm taking the Charles Fox liner brush which actually might be my oldest makeup brush and it's snapped in two. That shows you how old it is, but I still hang on to it. Maybe I should get a new one. I'm going to just, with black shadow, I'm going to start to carve out the crease. The black shadow that I'm using to do this is Corrupt. It's not my favourite, but it's the one that I have to hand. And when you're doing this, um, you're best to kind of push your head back and see exactly where um, you can see a, a crease that... If you looked up to the sky, it would still give your eye room to fit inside it. So when you're carving a crease out, I think it's always key to remember that you don't cut it too neat to the lash line. It should be this really rounded, it should have a peek through the centre of the pupil. So like if you look straight on, the pupil should have this peak above it and it should be very rounded. It shouldn't become like graphic liner. So just remember that and then by putting the head back and tilting back and letting the brush really go its own way, um, you get a much better finish. Okay, and now we can blank out the whole lid. So to do something like this, this is where the Urban Decay Eden Primer really comes in. I'm now going to paint the whole lid in the Eden Primer and wing it out. Um, this Obviously, it gives a different effect than the anti-aging primer that we used. Um, you'll see as I start to carve out with it, just how opaque this primer is. I mean, even just looking at it there, you can see how much it blanks out the, the eye. You can do this with um, concealer. You can do this with the NYX Jumbo Pencil, if you prefer. The reason I use the Eden Primer is because I still want the eyeshadow to stay in place. And I feel that it does a little bit more when you use Eden so I'm using a flat uh, Urban Decay Naked brush to do this bit and the trick is, is to basically get the shadow applied super smooth, super even um, with the flat brush. Okay, now we've blanked that out, we can fill it in. So now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills colour in Baby Cakes, which is a soft matte pink and I'm going to fill that whole area with it. Shadow is one of the most intense matte shadows I think I've ever used. It is so 
butter it in creamy. Okay, now we have the baby cakes applied. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Glam Rock and I'm going to cut my crease with this beautiful silver glitter. So I'm just going right within, um, right on the very rim of the baby cakes but not affecting that black. So now that we've applied that, I'm going to apply my liner. Um, believe it or not, today I'm using the Krylon Aqua Colour as liner. This makeup doesn't really need to stay on for long and I just wanted something really fluid. So I'm using Aqua Colour and I'm mixing it with, um, wetting my brush with Urban Decay Chill. Sorry about the mess of the bottle, but that's what I'm doing so it locks in for 24 hours. Even though I'm taking it off, but it's a, it's a better alternative than water. Okay, now we've got my liner on. I'm going to nip off camera and do complexion and then we'll meet back here to finish off this eye look. Now that I've done my complexion as well, I'm going to move on to using the Anastasia Beverly Hills New Gel Liner in the shade Dark Side. As soon as it's on, you want to get in and blend it out so it doesn't set. So I'm going back in with the shade Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and really smudging out the line. And this will create a real kind of like copycat effect of what we have on top. I always say mirror um, what you've done above, below. And just finish the liner off like that. Now we've got our liner done, I can go in and add my lashes. The lashes that I'm going to apply today are my friend Jason's new eyelash company called Hollywood Synthetic Eyelashes. Now he does mink and human hair as well, so I know it's just this pair that are synthetic. These are the K32s I'm going to use. So let's, wow, they're so nice. Let's get these on because it's quite a dramatic look. So the mascara I'm also going to apply today is my favourite and it's Perversion by Urban Decay and I'm just blending my own eyelashes up into these nice synthetic falsies. I love these lashes. 